Hey guys, it's Christina here um, and this video is long, long, long overdue so I definitely apologize for waiting so long to do this. I finally am settled down now that I'm back from my uh, week in LA and I just started a new job so everything's been so fast paced for me lately that it's been hard for me to settle down a little bit and uh, finally give you guys this haul vid video of my IMATS trip and just what I bought in LA in general. So um, I appreciate you guys for uh, definitely bearing with me and uh, I have gotten a few people uh, sending me little emails like, hey, IMATS video. So I said I was going to do it this weekend. So here I am doing it. Okay, so I got a few things at IMATS. That's where a bulk of my stuff came from. But then I also got um, a couple of things just period from uh, Victoria's Secret, from Bath and Body Works, from a local shoe store. And my mom even got me a couple of things while she was on her vacation in uh, Vegas. So I'm going to show you that stuff too. So I got a few things to show you. So let's get started. Uh, starting with my IMATS haul, I figure I'll go ahead and get all of that out of the way since that is the most stuff. Um, IMATS was the best experience of my life and no I did not buy this lip gloss I don't know why I just picked it up it was sitting on my bed um so putting that down um best experience hands down I loved it I met so many different people I met a lot of the gurus that I watch on YouTube and it was just absolutely crazy but I did tell myself I had a list in my head and I said the first three stations that I would be going to would be Inglot Sugar Pill and Senna um, because I had things specifically that I want to get from each of those stations. And so um, let me go ahead and get those things here and I'll show you. I got a palette, an eyeshadow palette from Inglot. And you can see uh, it's already been well loved with the damage on the packaging. So I got neutral colors for mine actually. So here's what I got here. I've been using this color here and this color here pretty much my entire t uh, the entire time I was in LA. These were the colors I was using. This would be my highlight. And I just loved these two for some contrast or if I wanted to create a, a smokier eye. Um, I wanted something that really complemented my skin tone and I figured these five did an absolutely amazing job. So I'm so excited for this palette. Um, already been using it like crazy since I bought it okay let's see next thing I got was a blush palette from Inglot my very first blush palette that was my first eyeshadow palette from um Inglot as well and same thing I kind of wanted to stay um more natural you know a little neutral these colors show up fantastically on my skin tone it's not too much this one is more of a fall color, but I wanted something darker. Um, this, These two just really give me some shimmer, give me a nice glow. And this one just gives me a tiny, tiny coral tint to my cheeks. I don't even remember what I have on right now, but it's very, very subtle. I have more shimmer on than anything. Um, in case you're wondering why I'm so shiny, no, this is not intentional. This is due to the fact that it is 103 degrees outside right now and um I haven't touched up my makeup I figure hey let me just look how I normally look and I think I look fabulous so yay um so yeah these are the four blushes that I decided to purchase love 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 them again I wish they had names but they don't and they have numbers but I've already put them in the thing and I don't remember what they are so I'm sorry okay next place I went to was sugar pill and I got quite the stash from sugar pill I got all three palettes from sugar pill I got the burning hearts palette which is this one right here which has these four colors let me boom look at that Oh, I'm so excited to try these out. I don't even know what and how I'm going to wear them because you guys know I'm afraid of color. This is a lot for me. So I'm trying to branch out of that, but I love it. Love it, love it, love it. I'm so excited. So excited. Um, then the next one I got 
was the Sweetheart palette, which has these four colors on it. Let's see. Look at those. The only one that I probably wouldn't touch too much is the white one, but maybe I'll watch some videos to see what I can do with this color, but so excited. And then the last palette I got was the Heartbreaker palette. Which has these four lovely colors. Look at those. This is the one that I'm most excited for. Right here. have no idea how I'm going to wear it. But it'll get worn. Alrighty. And I also got, they had a limited edition color there called something. So let me just take it out. Um, here it is here in the packaging and it's just, it's like the red color, um, with some shimmer in it. It's called, here it is right here. Let me see if you can get some light. There we go. Right there. And it's called, is what it's called. It's just a bunch of symbols. Let me see. Look at that. Like that, that's literally what it's called. So, um is what it's called so <laughs> I really like it though it's very very uh pigmented if you guys want me to do any swatches of these please just let me know in the comments below and I will be more than happy to do it for you especially for my darker skin girls if you want to know how these colors show up on your skin um if you're you know similar to my tone a little bit darker a little bit lighter or if just in general you don't even have to be close to my shade you just want some swatches you just let me know but I'm just speaking specifically. I know a lot of dark skin girls, we see these colors and then we're not quite sure if they're going to transfer as pigmented as they look in the pot on our skin. So like I said, give me a holler. All right. So next thing, Sigma. I went to Sigma. The discount at Sigma wasn't as good as I thought it would be. It was like 15% off, which really for me isn't enough. For me to go insanely crazy at Sigma and just buy all these things. So um, I just bought a few things. I bought just, just two things actually. Um, so let me go ahead and get those as soon as I find them. I done lost what I was looking for y'all. I don't know what I done did. Oh here we go. Here we go. I got the flare palette. Uh, here is, okay, I had something, and I don't know where it is, but I'll find it in a minute. Um, flare palette. And here it is, here. I have it still behind the plastic, so you can kind of see the plastic. Let me take that off. I've already used Crush, Observe, no, Oversee, oh my gosh, upside down, um, and define and allure. I really do like this palette. Not as good as the Paris palette in my opinion, um, but I do like it. I wanted it for the color selection, so I do really, really like the palette. It's just not my favorite. Alrighty, comes with an E55 and E40 double-ended brush. Okay, then the next thing I got from Sigma, or the last thing I got from Sigma is, oops, almost dropped it, the Make Me Crazy Travel Edition brush set. I wanted some more brushes, so I said now would be the time for me, sorry, I'm falling off the bed, <laughs> now would be the time for me to go ahead and get it with a 15% off discount. So it comes in this nice little brush holder here oops comes with however many brushes is in here what is this seven brushes boom 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 and i really appreciate this travel set because it's the perfect size and i'm able to go ahead and um take these with me whenever i travel so F40 brush, E55, F30, E30, um, F60. I'm probably not going to use this one too much. I don't like flat foundation brushes, but 
you know. And then, um, E65 and the E40 brush. I'm really going to get a lot of use out of this large powder, the F30 and the E40. Love, love, love those brushes. So there's that. Let me go ahead and get those back in here. And then I will show you. Okay, if I can get them back in here, this will go a lot quicker. Okay, there we go. I went to MUD, which is Makeup Designery, and I got a palette here. They had a 40% off discount at IMAP, so hello. Um, I got a four hole eye color, so I got four, uh, a palette of four here. All neutral colors, again. Lovely, 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 lovely. Very, very pigmented, very good. So if you have not tried MUD, please do. They are great, great quality. Then I got an eight hole eye and cheek palette the next day. Um, and this one here is a little bit more out of the box for me. Blush colors here and the eye colors up here. I don't remember the names of them. Sorry, but um, I absolutely love these colors. So I'm very, very excited to see what I can do with these. I think this one is pomegranate. <laughs> and that's really all I remember. Oh, I'm so bad at that. I, I'll put the names of the colors below. Um, or if, like I said, if you need swatches or you want pictures or anything, just let me know and I'll let you know what the names of them are that way. Okay. And then... That's all I got from IMAS besides my Senna. Um mascara that I cannot find. Oh my goodness gracious. This is so silly. Okay guys, so after tearing my room apart, I did find my Senna purchase um, from IMAT. So here it is. It is the Voluptu Lash Mascara. Let me see if we can get you a good picture of that. Um, it is a great mascara um it really does what it says I really really love the wand um it's a double helix wand actually I'm a I'm a fan of smells or you know if a mascara smells too chemically for me then I think it's gonna like burn through my eyelashes and make them fall off and I'll be bald um, so I smell my mascaras I don't know it's weird it doesn't smell too chemically um, but I really do like the wand. I don't have it on right now. I do just have, what do I have on right now? Um, my, a my ashes, lashes, um, are pretty long naturally. I just have an issue with volume. So, um, this does a very, very, very good job of that. It was, I think it's originally like 22 or $24. It was 18 at IMAX and I met uh, creator of Senna and the developer and I almost peed my pants she was fantastic um and uh she was the one that actually turned me on to this I saw a YouTube video of her putting it on and I said I have to try it so that's why I got it okay so now that's the end of my IMATS haul I will go ahead and show you everything that I got just while I was in LA in general. Okay, so first things first, my mom got me, my mom went to Vegas and she went to a coach outlet. So she got me a new coach bag here, which is so cute. It's kind of like a tote almost. And it has some pink ins. Oh, and she got me a matching wallet. Boom, so cute. Very cute inside, uh, lots of space. Um, it's not too deep as to where I toss something in there and then I get, you know, then it gets lost and I have to dump everything out in order to find it. The wallet is very, very cute as well. I am so excited to wear this. Thanks, mama. All right. Then my next purchase was from Bath and Body Works. Went and got some more body sprays. 
all four. <laughs> yeah, when I go shopping for body sprays, I go big, dude. I go big. And it was a semi-annual sale, so these were like originally $18 a bottle. So I got like three for 30 and then I got the extra one here. Okay, so this one here is Wild and Breezy. Mm. Definitely a floral smell. And I'm not typically into floral smells, but this one wasn't too bad. Uh, then this one is called Sweet and Flirty. Somebody told me, um, somebody hit me up on Twitter earlier today. Her name is, and I have my Twitter up, so that's how I can tell. Beauty for All XO. She said, I have the Sweet and Flirty one. It smells so good. So I'm taking your word for this, girl. Let's smell. It does smell good and it is sweet. And I see why they would call it flirty too. It's it's not, it's sweet. It's really sweet. And I wouldn't even say floral, but I do like it. Love it, love it, love it. Then this one here is pretty and pure. This is new as per the new on the bottle right there. Um, let's see, P pretty and pure. Mm. Whenever I see something with a blue top or something like that, or a green or blue top, I think something very clean, fresh, and that's what I'm getting from this, definitely. I don't know why blue is associated with, like, clean and fresh, but that's what I'm getting. I love it. Love it. This is my second favorite of the four that I got. My favorite is this one right here. And this is Fun and Fearless, as you can tell. I've already been using quite a bit of it. This is this was my signature fragrance of the week when I was in LA. So let's smell. Oh, love this. I love it. I don't even know how to describe it to you. It feels like, it smells like sunshine. I am not kidding. That's what I think of when I smell this. I just think of frolicking out in the grass or on the beach or something where there's just lots of sun. Mm, I just love it. Love. This is my favorite. Fun and fearless. Okay. Next thing I got were my first pair of Toms. Don't look on the inside. Oh, my silver, silver glitter toms. I love these things. I wore them almost every single day when I was in LA. Bought these on um, from a local shoe store. And when I saw that they had these, I said, I have to have them. So I got toms, my first pair. Um, Next thing. Okay, guys. And Aldrin, my buddy. No, I know that you will appreciate this. Boom. <laughs> One Direction CD. This was the anthem in my car the entire week I was in LA. Um, I don't know what else to tell you. I love the CD. Louis, this babe right here. Hey, boo. My favorite. Love him. Love, love, love. But I love their CD. My favorite song on it is, um, what is it? Stole My Heart, which is the last song, number 13. I don't know why I love that song so much. It's really one of my favorites, but I love the CD. Okay, then the last place I went was Victoria's Secret. No, no, no. I went to Victoria's Secret and Fredericks of Hollywood. Went to Fredericks of Hollywood, okay. Now, before I show you what I bought there, I need you guys to just remind yourself that we are a mature audience. We do not giggle and laugh at the sight of women's underwear, panties and bras and all that stuff. So just want to show you what I got. Not a big deal. You know, you wear underwear. I wear underwear. We wear underwear. Yay. Okay. So they were having a semi-annual sale at Frederick's. So I got a blue bra. I got a nude one as well. And then leopard. And then I got a black one too, but I have that one on. So we're not going there. So 
On to Victoria's Secrets. I only have, um, have. I only have, um, I got underwear. They have the five for 25 thing. And so I got a few things there. And, um, I'm thick thighed and hipped and all of that. So I don't like, you know, skimpy little things. I just don't like them. I don't, I don't, they're uncomfortable. So I went ahead and got a couple of colors. I got these, so cute. Got the pink ones. I got the lime green ones, so cute. I got these blue ones. They all pretty much say the same thing. They either say pink or love or pink or love pink or whatever. And then I got some orange ones that say love pink. They're really wrinkled. I am sorry, but what do you care? Um, then the purple ones. So that's what I got. I think that is it. Um, closing remarks. I had a blast in LA. I cannot wait to go back for the next IMATS. Um, you guys have already seen my VidCon videos. If you haven't, I will post day one here and day two here. Um, I will also put a link for you guys to subscribe to my channel somewhere up here as well. Please, 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 uh, Click the like button. I think it's going to be over in this area somewhere or this area or whatever it is. You guys know where it is. And just comment below. Um, if you guys went to IMAX, let me know. Um, if you guys want to do any video responses or anything, just let me know. I am so excited to begin my vlogging uh, experience and to just share who I am with you guys. And I am hoping to just um, have a blast with this. So... I will talk to you guys soon. You guys have a great, great, great weekend. Um, have a great week, depending on when you're watching this video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.